Hi everyone, it's Lisa Somerville for Divinity Designs. Thank you so much for joining us for our Babies and Beyond event. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some graduation ideas, and then I'll be sharing with you a few tutorials. Now in our gift card holder video, you might have already seen two of the projects that I'm sharing here with you today. I have two coordinating gift sets using graduation products along with additional Divinity Designs products. This card is called our Trifold Card with Layers die set, and I will be sharing a tutorial later in this video on how you can create this fun fold card using our Trifold Card with Layers die set. The other tutorial that I'm going to be sharing with you is our Twist and Pop with Layers die set. The Twist and Pop die set does require the use of an A2 card base. You can see when you open the twist and pop, the fun mechanism in the inside opens up. Again, I'll be sharing a tutorial later in this video. Now, if you've seen our gift card video, you've probably already seen the products that I've used on these two projects. But if not, I'm going to go over them again with you. Here we have the gift card holder. This is a two-piece die set. It contains the base and also the decorative panel. I've also used the circles and pierced circles die set along with the Biddy Blossoms die set. The sentiment is from the Future stamp set and the coordinating card. This card again uses the Biddy Blossoms die set along with the Fancy Flourish. The sentiment strips two die set, the square card base with layer die set, flourished background die that can be found in the July 2021 Blessings Box subscription kit, double pierced squares, the grab die set, and dream big stamp set. The trifold card with layers die set uses a stamp from the future stamp set, along with paper from America the Beautiful. This six by nine paper pad features 24 designer papers, four sheets of each design, plus eight solid color sheets, four sheets of each color. The coordinating gift card uses the same paper pad along with the gift card holder die set. Again, you can see that you can make simple gift cards or you can make pretty decorative gift cards. This gift card holder also uses the mini slimline rectangles, mini slimline layer rectangles, and the grand die set. Now for the twist and pop card, I'm using the twist and pop with layers die set, the A2 portrait card base with layer die set, matting rectangle die set, circles, fancy circles, grad dies, our large numbers, and paper from America the Beautiful. Because I didn't have the packaging for all of those products, I'm showing those next. I also have the following graduation card where I let the landscape paper pad be the focal point of my card. In addition to the landscape's paper pad, this card uses the following products. Square card base with layer die set, double stitch squares, grad dies, and a sentiment from Adventure Awaits. I've gone ahead and stamped, die cut, and embossed all the pieces I'm going to need to create my trifold card. This is just one of the many folded card dies that Divinity Designs carries. This time, my trifold card is going to use paper from the Rainbow Sherbet paper pad, and the sentiment is from the Future Stamp set. The card base was die cut from white cardstock and all the layer panels were die cut and embossed from the rainbow sherbet paper pad. The sentiment from the future stamp set was stamped in black ink on white cardstock, then die cut and embossed using the circle dies. You're going to want to use adhesive and adhere all those layers to the card base. Now when adding the die cut and embossed layering panels, be sure to center them in the areas they go on the card base. And then you're going to want to fold that card base on a score line. Folding directions can also be found on the packaging. The first fold is mountain. The inside fold is valley. The two end folds are mountain. 
On the smaller center, we have mountain. Then valley. And valley on the end. Again, you can see that first fold is valley. Valley. Then we have mountain. Mountain, valley, and valley. And how cute would the trifold card with layers die set be using the elephant from our bundle of joy stamp set? For more inspiration using the trifold card with layers die set, be sure to visit the product page on our website. This next tutorial features our twist and pop with layers die set. When using the twist and pop with layers die set, you're also going to need an A2 base card. The twist and pop with layer die set consists of the twist and pop mechanism. You have your cardstock accordion panel and the layer panels. Be sure to die cut and emboss the layering panels and the twist and pop mechanism following the directions for your die cutting machine. On this card, the verse comes from the future stamp set. On the card that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial, I'm going to use one of the sentiments from Dream Big. The additional products are the Flower Favorites Slimline Paper Pad Collection, the A2 Portrait Card Base with Layer Die Set, Matting Rectangles, Long and Lean Numbers, Scallop Circles, and Circles Die Sets. I've gone ahead and die cut and embossed all the pieces that I'm going to need to create my card. Again, your twist and pop card is going to start out with the A2 portrait card base. I'm also using the layering die from this set and the matting rectangle. As I want to add a pop of color between the layer panel and the cardstock base. You can go ahead and adhere those panels together. From white cardstock, I have my accordion panel, the twist and pop mechanism, the long and lean numbers, and my stamped die cut and embossed circle panel. The circle scallop was die cut and embossed from cardstock, and the layer panels for the accordion were die cut and embossed using the Floral Favorites Paper Pad Collection. Adhere the stamped embossed sentiment panel to the embossed scalloped circle, and then adhere that to the base card. You can then add the die cut and embossed layering panels to the accordion panel and embellish. On my panels on this card, I use the long and lean numbers. On this first card, I used our large numbers die set. Again, when using our dies, you're going to want to die cut and emboss following the directions for your die cutting machine. Embossing the dies will bring out the detail of the dies. On the large numbers on this card, I left the die cut and emboss panel within the die and then used our blending brushes and ink to apply ink over the die. You can then see by using the blending brushes and the ink the stenciled area of the die cut. You can do that with any of our dies that have embossed areas. If adding stenciling to your die cuts, be sure to clean the dies before storing them for your next use. Before we move on, I'm going to fold the accordion panel on the score lines. Use a bone folder for a nice crisp score. The first fold is a valley fold, then mountain fold, and a valley fold. So we have valley, mountain, valley. I'm going to go ahead and set that panel aside and work with the twist and pop mechanism. Fold this die cut and embossed panel on all the diagonal score lines. Again, use a bone folder for a nice crisp score. Then fold the top towards you. And again, use a bone folder. Then we're going to push down on the center triangles. Again, use a bone folder for a nice crisp score. After scoring and folding the twist and pop mechanism, you're going to add score tape to the two triangle sides. Now we're going to bring in the card base. You're going to make a dot in the center of your card on the score line. And 
and then you'll align the hole from the twist and pop mechanism over the dot that you created. You can then remove the backing from the score tape and then adhere that panel to the top of the card. You're going to repeat that with the bottom portion of the mechanism. Now you can see we have the start of the twist and pop for the inside of the card. Now we're going to adhere that accordion panel. Before we adhere the accordion panel to the twist and pop mechanism, I wanted to let you know that we're going to add adhesive to the embossed rectangles as that area is the area that's going to adhere to your accordion panel. You can use score tape if you'd like. I'm using Barely Art Glue as it'll give me a little bit to move if my piece isn't centered correctly. You'll center that layering panel over the twist and pop mechanism. And then adhere to the left side. You can then flip over the right flap. And adhere that to the right side. Because I'm using glue, I want to give this a chance to set. Now to fold your card, you'll simply pull forward on the center. Here you can see the twist and pop portion in the inside of your card. Now let's take a closer look at those projects that I created. Another gift card set. Another trifold with layers card. A square graduation card. And the two twist and pop with layers cards. For more inspiration using our twist and pop with layers die set, visit the product page on our website.